a mural that we are going to work on and the mural that we are going to be doing is the one at your school that is right there by the field. Um, that mural, I'm not quite sure when it was first put up, but as of right now, it's kind of really falling apart and big chunks of it are falling off. And we are going to walk over to Washington Middle School. Um, every group of three kids will get one camera and you guys share if you're like, oh, ooh, 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 I see this. Um, take a picture of it. And I have a camera too. I'm going to be taking pictures of things that I think are interesting. Um, and when we get to Washington Middle School, um, we will also look at the mural itself. Basically, what we are going to be painting and drawing in this class is portraits of plants. Okay, so not a portrait of um, anything else, but a portrait of plants. And somehow we're going to relate a story to that. Okay, and eventually these portraits that you guys do of plants will go on to the big wall. In my graffiti days, I was doing a lot of different kinds of drawing. And drawing things that were culturally relevant to myself. So what I mean by culturally relevant is I'm Chicana and I'm Navajo. Um, so I wanted to paint things that meant something to me, um, to those sides of my culture. That was really important to me because I felt like I didn't see it enough. I felt like I didn't see those kind of things enough in, in just the art world or in pop culture. So I started doing images that I really, really wanted to see, kind of using my illustrative side to really just bring, bring that out. I, as an artist, I'm a painter. I'm a drawer, I'm an illustrator, and I'm a muralist. Um, I, and I'm a teacher. You're changing an environment. And it's kind of an exciting thing, and it's a huge responsibility. So in the murals that I create, I like them to kind of be a reflection. It's only going to be meant for Washington Middle School. It's not a mural that I could go and take and put it in Washington, D.C. It's not a mural that I would want to go and put in California. It's not a mural that I would even want to put um, on East Central, okay? It's gonna be specifically designed for your school, and it's gonna be a reflection of the community. You guys' school is in the neighborhood of Barabas. Um, and Barabas is a very, very old community. And it has, it existed here before your school was here. It existed here because it had a close relationship to downtown and to the rail yards. So when we take our walk today, I want us to look at the plants that have existed in this area that are like sprouting up through the cracks in the sidewalks. The ones that are that are kind of like uh, stuck on some kind of median that are just kind of sprawling about. So do you guys know what kind of plants I'm talking about? Weeds. Weeds. We call them weeds, but they're plants. And they have a resilience, a resilience of kind of staying within this region despite houses being built, despite sidewalks being kind of plowed over them, um, and that's kind of the way that I see with the people of this community. It's probably changed so many times in hundreds of years, but yet there's still a, a history here from the people and the plants and the animals. 